What is the inheritance of the saints, those made holy by God? What is awaiting us in eternity because of our faith in Jesus? Let's look at several passages that reveal our wonderful future. The decree of the Lord, he said to me, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I'll surely give the nations as your inheritance, and the very ends of the earth as your possession. Are we begotten as God's children? The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and my cup. Indeed, my inheritance is beautiful to me. Someone is spiritually mature when the rent from a thousand apartments or the cattle on a thousand hills is less important to them than the privilege of knowing God. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is stored up for the righteous. God will ultimately give property acquired or used immorally to the righteous. Look around at wealthy liars and scam artists, then see your future inheritance. Blessed are the gentle or meek, for they shall inherit the earth. This is both a life's principle and millennial promise. The humble are more likely to succeed than the arrogant. And when Christ returns, he'll only give authority over the earth to those who will rule humbly. In my Father's house are many dwelling places, for I go to prepare a place for you. I'll come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may also be. Many resting places implies more to come, a new heaven and a new earth. The Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, heirs also, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him, we are fellow heirs with Christ. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him over for us all, how will he not also with him freely give us all things? Words used when Abraham didn't spare Isaac. Never forget the price that was paid so that we could inherit. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We'll not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. A changed body. By faith he, Abraham, lived as an alien in the land of promise, as in a foreign land, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, fellow heirs of the same promise. For he was looking for the city which has foundations, whose architect and builder is God. But as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. The patriarchs desire heavenly Jerusalem will someday descend to earth and be our new home. Behold, the tabernacle of God is among men, and he will dwell, or tabernacle, among them. And they shall be his people, and God himself will be among them. In the Feast of Tabernacles, and the tabernacle of Christ's flesh, is pictured our wonderful future in New Jerusalem. The inheritance of the saints is the culmination of all God's plans. New Jerusalem and a new earth where God and humanity can live together, making all our earthly time of testing pale into insignificance. And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes. And there will no longer be any death. There will no longer be any mourning or crying or pain.